36 on a Saturday happening today. Some important spring cleaning. Some of it you can do is actually cleaning your medicine cabinet. Yeah, if you didn't know, today is Drug Take Back Day, a nationwide call to action to help reduce the number of prescription drug overdoses and to keep your loved ones safe. It's as easy as taking a trip to your local Meyer. Our Larry Sproul is live this morning, and Larry, there are certain medicines Meyer does not want you to bring them, right? That is exactly right. Good morning, Sean and Priya. Now, certain medications that they don't want you to bring to the store that you can actually get rid of at your home. And we have a trick to show you how to do that. Joining me live right now is Kyle. Good morning again. Yeah. So there are certain medications that you can get rid of at home and not really bring them to the store, correct? Yeah. I mean, you can get rid of most medications at home. Obviously, the safest and most effective way to do it is with one of the kiosks. <laughs> but if you, if you have um, pills or something at home and you cannot make it out to the store, the best way to do it would actually actually be to mix it with a substance such as coffee grounds, cat litter, to this get make the medication so it can't be readily retrievable in the trash. Um, just kind of show you, you want to scratch yep. out your personal information. <laughs> you can just, I got coffee grounds here, you dump it in, seal it up, and this can actually be thrown in the trash now. And you just throw this away and you've got your personal information scratched out, this can be tossed away as well. That is actually the best way to do it at home. And it's just that simple, a plastic bag and some, and some coffee. Beans. Coffee grounds, cat litter, um, just something to kind of make the medication unappealing. And pretty much everybody has that, either one or the other at, at yeah, home. Yeah, most likely. How often do you find it that people just get rid of medication the wrong way? Um, I'm sure it happens more often than not. <laughs> Obviously, you don't, you don't want to flush medications. There's very few medications you can flush. Mm -hmm. So if you can do it this way, this is the preferred way. Um, obviously, the kiosk as well. Um, but you do, do not want to be flushing. That is the wrong way to get rid of medication. And it seems like that is the most common, but yet makes sense. I would just flush it down the toilet, mm -hmm. and it seems like it just goes away. But that is absolutely a big no-no. No, it can <laughs> end up getting in the water supply, affecting other things. So the garbage um, is probably the second best option with one of the kiosks or with the DEA take-back location being the preferred option. Okay, thank you so much. And if you have a plastic bag and some coffee, grind up beans and some cat litter, that is the way to go. If you want to get rid of that medication, not really bring it to the store, you can do that at home. We'll have a lot more coming up. I'll toss it back to you, Sean and Priya, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Larry. Great thanks, info Larry. there. All right, a lot more coming up on Local 4 News today. We're going to check in with Andrew on today's weather.